Hi students, I'm trying something a little bit different with this video. Uh, we were talking in class a few days ago about something called tongue twisters. Tongue, my tongue, and the word twist meaning turn, flip, um, spin, tongue twisters. Something that makes my tongue blah, 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 turn and twist. So we practiced a few of them in class, um, and I thought I'd make a quick video uh, just giving the explanation of some of the most common tongue twisters that are popular, famous, that lots of kids know, that lots of adults know here in the United States. I would love, I would love to hear some of the tongue twisters in your home language, um, and I'm trying to figure out a way that you could record and send me a response I might have that figured out in the next few days. So keep an eye out for this so that I can also hear back your tongue twisters from your home language or share them with us in class. Love it. I would love to hear it if you have one to share in class. One of the most common tongue twisters in United States English um, is with the letter W, wa wa, and this tongue twister goes, how much would, would a wood chuck, chuck, if a wood chuck could chuck wood. Small explanation, so a word of wood, W-O-O-D, wood from a tree, a word of wood, W-O-O-D, O-U-L-D, like would you help me? A word of woodchuck is the name of an animal. And then a word chuck is a very informal way to say throw. So this phrase is saying, how much wood would this animal throw if the animal could throw wood? Are you ready for it? I'm going to go pretty fast. And then I'll have the text written on the screen so that you can follow along. How much wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A little bit faster. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Ah! And then there's a response. And the response is maybe less common, but still famous, still pretty popular. And again, I'll try to put the text across the bottom. A woodchuck, woodchuck, as much wood as the woodchuck could chuck. Fast forward. A woodchuck, woodchuck, as much wood as woodchuck could chuck. A woodchuck, woodchuck, as much wood as the woodchuck could chuck. Really, really fast, these two pieces. A question and the answer. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck would chuck as much wood as the woodchuck could chuck. Blech. All right. Um, I hope you enjoy that one a lot. That's one of the most common, I think, in the United States. That's one of the most famous. Um, children practice it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If you have an American friend, um, ask him or her. I bet, I bet your American friend knows that one. Another one actually comes from England, and it has to do with the letter P, 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 and it's about Peter, the name, Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Let me say it slowly for you, and then I'll give you some explanation about the meaning, and then we'll put it together really, really fast again, okay? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper, the name. Pick, like pick from the ground. A peck is a very old, old, old word for like a barrel, a bucket. A peck. A peck of, a bucket of, a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And then we have, again, kind of like a question and response. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, how many peppers did Peter Piper pick? Blah, blah, blah. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, 
How many peppers did Peter Piper pick? Hmm. Okay, I want to add one more for us. And this is the one that we were talking about in class. When my student was talking about the seashore, the seashore, I said, ah, that reminds me of this tongue twister. Very, very common, very famous. Um, I'm not sure if this one started in the United States or in England. Um, very, very famous. And the joke of this one is the sound of S or the sound of SH. She sells sea shells by the sea shore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She says, and pretty soon your S and SH are mixed up. She sells seashells by the seashore. 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 I would love, I would love, I would love to know some tongue twisters from your home language. Um, some students have shared them with me in class. Please, please, please feel free to put a link to any video of YouTube video of tongue twisters in your home language. I would love to watch them. Um, feel free to share or recite the tongue twister for us in class. It's absolutely wonderful to be able to hear and play with language in this way. And just a fun thing. A fun thing to learn and practice. Um, and if you have a really difficult time with one of these, practice it. Uh, you don't have to say it fast. You don't have to say it extremely fast like me, but practice it slowly. Say it a little faster. Say it a little faster. And you'll feel that tongue start to twist up because of those tongue twisters. All right, students, let me know in the comments what you think about this lesson. Do you want to know more tongue twisters? Would you like another video uh, practicing listening to some of the tongue twisters? Until next time, bye.